Good morning, welcome back to another video. I'm gonna be really for real with you. I think this is gonna to have to be like a two in one video because I don't even know what week dieting we're on at the moment. I'm just plugging away, slugging away at the same stuff. I do need to update you on how it went with me going away and whether that caused the scales to change, what I did whilst I was away. I will sit down and have a little chat with you about that later. But for now, we are back from holiday and the holiday was kind of exhausting to be fair because we were just running around absolutely everywhere. So the weekend that I came back, I did nothing all weekend. And then as soon as Monday rolled around, we were back in action. I was mentally tracking across the weekend. At this point, I'm going to have the same sort of breakfast. I'm going to have the same sort of lunches. I knew roughly what I was having. I wasn't snacking extra outside of that. I wasn't using it as an excuse to like, we'll just start again on Monday. But as soon as Monday rolled around, we were back in action. We were back in routine as per normal. So this is going to be another regular old in the life vlog. But I've decided that I'm going to try and be more brave and get my camera out a little bit more. So hold me to that, okay? Hold me to that, but it's going to be a little bit more interesting than just me in this house, okay? Phoebe's coming to the gym! He's alive! He hasn't been to the gym. Jim in. Come on. Yeah, three and a half weeks. What are you counting? Shriveled away, haven't I? He's not been well, so he's coming back to grow a bicep before Japan. <laughs> Otherwise they won't it's let him singular, in. Singular, singular. Just one bicep. Just have... In photos, you just have one side, like. That's what I do anyway. We've got a good side. Let's go. fantastic start <laughs> but i'm just about to go get my nails done we had a great gym session i did it in record time i do have a ton more steps to get but that's by the by but these nails really haven't done well this time and if you can tell but they're just a bit raggedy i don't know that's just all tan <laughs> oh i'm sorry yeah. this one has not survived this one has a little chip in it there's one over here as well i think this side is not looking good so i feel as though they might have to come right down i did ask them to be loads shorter last time but the the woman I usually have was on holiday, so I had someone slightly different, which is I feel is maybe why they're not quite as good as I usually have them. Yeah. So I don't actually know what I'm going to get. It's a very in-between stage. A month, maybe less than a month then, until I go to Japan. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up with. Probably something very neutral. In my head, I was thinking like, they're going to have to be so short. They might have to be square. So basically, I'm just going to say whatever you want to do, do them because I actually don't care. See how that goes. And I've got some vintage parcels to send. I've been sending my vintage parcels with business cards in there. Smart or silly? I don't know, but I've been doing it. Does anyone else get low-key concerned about what they're going to wear for the nail appointment? Because I just feel like I'm always in loungewear or gym wear and I just never feel nice when I go to my nail appointment and I feel like everyone else looks really nice and I look graggedy and raggedy. It's like when you go to the hairdressers and you're sat in front of a mirror for so long and you start to analyze yourself. I feel like it's one of those. I've got my little kombucha to take with me and let's get to stepping. All the autumn stuff is I'm not in the shops, but I'm not ready to let go of summer yet. We keep booking holidays at the end of summer, which is great in theory, but in practice, it doesn't really work because everyone's had their summer holidays. Everyone's ready for winter. And I'm not. Excuse me, until we come back from Japan, it is not winter. Even though it might be a bit cold, she's in shorts. <laughs> she's got sunglasses on because I'm not succumbing to winter until we are back. Also, what is going on with my skin? So it's just a whole, a whole shebang at the moment, but we'll get over it. <laughs> Do you like my nails? I got a different base, much shorter and a cute little greeny mint tip because we've got to be on brand and we're focusing on the japan nails i need to actually think of some inspo for that rather than just turning up and being like tell me what to do i was gonna put my parcels in the locker but i think i need just need to go home and eat right now but we've just been a bit in and out in and out today haven't we gang back 
in the car yet again sporting this beautiful hairstyle. I can probably take that out now. My hair's getting to a point where it's kind of annoying me and I don't really know what to do with it. I think similar to my nails, I'm just gonna go and say, do what you wanna do. Do what you gotta do, babe. Um, so now, out to PT, which usually I wouldn't be doing on a Thursday, but Thursday is all upside down, which I may have already said. And then I actually will take my vintage parcels. I've managed to get quite a bit done this morning, despite the fact I've been in and out, but absolutely no steps have been done. So I might do that post PT. Let's see how we get on. I feel like I need a little stand for my camera for the car. I think you can get them, but then I also don't know how I feel because don't be touching technology in the car. You know what I mean? Like if I see anyone on their stories or on YouTube in their car, I'm like, even though I could literally press start now, get driving, press stop when I get there, feel the legal. Whoa, that's a big ass bird. We're near a bit of a pond type thing and we actually get quite a lot of herons, which I guess is cute. Anyway, let's get to PT. I really don't have the time to be bapping around. <laughs> I said that I needed to film more outside of the house. I didn't mean for all of my clips to be in the car. What am I doing? But PT is down. I've done some steps on the treadmill, so I'm in a better spot now. I'm nearly at 8,000, which feels a bit more manageable. Me and Nathan have been doing little evening walks, which is so cute and so nice and just boosts my steps up for the day. So I'm going to kind of rely on that for the rest of my step rules, I think. My eyes are literally square because all I do all day is look at screens in various manners and I just feel like, I did it. yeah, I just feel like I need to not do that. Oh my god, I was just on the treadmill looking at things for Japan and I really want to go to a Japanese head spa and I was thinking, like, imagine getting off the plane and just chilling and relaxing and feeling like really fresh because we get there quite early so we can't like, go to the hotel and get a shower or anything, we're just there. So I thought, imagine if we just get there and go straight to a Japanese head spa and I found this one on TikTok and oh my god it looked unreal you got a foot bath a foot massage a scalp theme a bob like obviously all the head spa thing with like massages and all the different treatments and then they style your hair and then they even did like a shoulder massage oh, I was literally like my body was tingling as I was watching the video because I just thought oh my god give me that I want that in a big way I just need to find one that's not a lot of money because some of them look a bit spinny especially if they're I think if they're a bit more like Western because actually it shouldn't be super expensive over there that one that I looked at was a hundred pounds whilst I'm not against paying that much for that thing do I want to immediately land in Japan and spend a hundred pound on one thing probably not but I do so I'll just be daydreaming about that let's go all these packages in the end post Fiend gherkins. Oh no, please make an open because I just really want a gherkin right now. I promise I go to the gym. Come on. Oh, I want to wait till I get home. I can't stop eating these. Come on, it's not gonna happen. I have to wait till I get home. That's really upsetting. Fine. Nathan said surprise me, and when people say surprise me, and then you just end up getting the same thing, and it's not really a surprise. I said I am gonna surprise you, and um, so I got him some street waffles. He's gonna be surprised. What's about these? Wow! Stroop waffles. Have you had a stroop waffle before? They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, thank you. And I thought that is a surprise because when would I ever get you a stroop waffle? They're my stroop waffles. But also, can you open these? Because I tried to open them in the car and I couldn't open them. Thank you. It's hard, isn't it? Now then. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> but most of all, thanks for doing this. I made sure not to get the spicy ones this time. Gross. Look at this. Oh. I don't want that on there. Come off! I'm ruining my experience. So I'm working before I sleep. And it's got all going into your hair. Mm -hmm. Please ignore the bright red lip because I just tried the TikTok lip stain out and now it's stained. So I can't get it off. But the best sign of a really good PR package is that you then go and organically buy the thing anyway. So I got these sip good things sent to me 
last month, the month before maybe? No, it must be longer than that because I've been getting through them anyway. And I've been having them every single morning. And they're basically little effervescent tablets that you put in your water. Obviously it favors your water, but then there's electrolytes in there and then they have different vitamins in them, depending on what they are. Not all of them are vegan, some of them have vitamin D in them, but the majority of the flavors are. And not only is it just a really nice way to start your day and a more interesting way to start your day, the flavors are actually delicious. I just got the new flavor in here, which is mandarin, orange, and clove. And I've not even tried it yet because it's still effervescing away, but it smells so spicy. One of them is ginger and pear, ginger, and ginseng. It's so spicy, so gingery, it's delicious. It actually tastes really, really nice. It's not just plain, here's blackcurrant, here's orange. They are delicious, delicious flavors. And I also really wanted a cute little water bottle. I wanted a plastic 500 milliliter water bottle with a wide mouth. And it just so turns out that they sell them on the website too. So I got myself a water bottle because I really just want this for going out and about when you just, when you need a bit of water, but you don't want a really heavy bottle to carry around because my Stanley is obviously giant and I can't just like, I'm not gonna take this to pan with me and carry it around. It's not gonna happen. This will be really useful. Doesn't she look beautiful in the golden hour? We've come to find the mini baby kiwis, even though you're allergic. Can you be allergic to the small ones? I'm allergic, huh? <laughs> not like um, the lion from Wizard of Oz. If you can believe, we couldn't find them, but I have got cotton candy grapes and cream gauges because they sounded cool and they were 90p. Whoa! All my money down the train. I'm glad we got it for 90p and not 2 pounds 50 that's all I can say. Can I try? Is that great? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I don't know why I shouldn't use my eyes. What does it taste like? Good. Not like it? No. Weird. I'm gonna freeze those. Surprise the bloody prize, I forgot to end out the video yesterday and I was going to chat to you all about Vienna and where I'm at on my dieting phase right now, but I just lost little clips of the day instead, which I guess works as well, but let's also talk about where I'm at with my dieting phase. So off of the back of Vienna, I didn't obviously track my food, I ate whatever, didn't have any gym sessions, we had one run whilst we were out there and no other activity aside from that. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my... What's it called? Fit. And then when I came back, the idea was I would come straight back into it as of the Friday we were back. I had my normal routine, check-ins and things like that. But actually we'd done so many steps, like astronomical steps when we were out there that I was so knackered. So I decided just to take it easy for those two days because that's what made the most sense to me. I actually kind of needed a little bit of a holiday from my holiday to chill out. So if anything, I did even less activity when I was back, although I did then keep on top of my food. I just had my regular meals as I normally would have. So straight back into routine in terms of that. I weighed myself on the day I left and I weighed myself on the day that I got home in the morning, obviously same time. And I was exactly the same weight. I'm talking exactly the same weight. So that three plus kg that I've lost in the previous four weeks, has gone absolutely nowhere. She has stayed exactly the same. And in fact, after I weighed myself this week, I'm actually even lower than that now. So we have continued. It has not stunted our progress at all for me to go out there and not think about training, not think about anything like that, not think about food, eat whatever I wanted to eat. It has not hindered my progress. And to think that I wasn't even gonna start this dieting phase until now, because I was so worried that going away and all these things I had going on in the meantime would get in the way of my dieting phase. Yet, yeah, I'm over three kg down and I've still managed to do everything that I've wanted to do. So yet again, I'm still not changing anything. I don't know if I'm gonna make any changes as to the end of this week. I'm gonna see how it goes. I've been tracking my body weight kind of almost daily just to look at different fluctuations. I don't recommend that anyone else really does that unless you can truly look at it objectively, otherwise you're just gonna get obsessed with it. Um, and when I'm looking at it daily, I've seen my weight go back up to that number just after Vienna and I've seen it come down a little bit since then as well. So I'm hoping if 
on average, that number is still lower than Vienna. I can keep everything the same because I really don't want to have to do anything more. I can't lie to you. <laughs> I really don't, which I think is why it's making me stay so consistent with what I do have on now because I'm like, I literally don't want to do anything else. I don't want to go above 12,000 steps. I don't want to go below 1700 calories and I don't want to go above the sessions that I'm doing. If I do have to enter cardio into the chat, which I might at some stage, I will, but I don't really want to, to be honest. If at all possible, I would like to just stay as we are because this is a happy medium. It's challenging me. I'm having to think about it every day, but it's not ruining my life. And we're still seeing those drops that we want to see. And I am noticing my body look a lot different at the moment. I'm noticing things are just a bit tighter. I'm noticing clothes are fitting a bit nicer. So that's a nice kind of pep in my step to keep me going. But I've got hopefully a couple of good kind of routine based videos coming up in the next couple of weeks for the diet update. And I'm also so excited to get my hair done before we go away because it's just doing my head in at the moment. I don't know what to do about it. So excuse all of this and I'm getting some sparks. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. We've got to knuckle down for another few weeks in terms of work and in terms of my diet. And then we get to have the best two weeks ever, 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 ever.